when you think back over 2020, what are some of the experiences you've had that stand out to you? Well, I think there are four things that stick out to me, and I think they're common among everyone in our country. Number one, uh, we learned through the pandemic, uh, through 2020, that the need for solitude. The, Jesus often withdrew to a lonely place to be with the Father. So I took the pandemic as some solitude time. Secondly, we learned the need for community, that after a season of solitude, we were missing uh, regular fellowship and community. The third thing I learned, again, what you've been talking about for many years, and that is the need for preparedness, for being prepared for difficult times. Um, I had 40 weeks of meetings cancel, so that changed my economy a little bit. Uh, but thank the Lord we had toilet paper. Thank the Lord we had food to eat. We were prepared. Uh, we had batteries. We had lights. We had things. We were prepared. The fourth thing that I learned during this 2020, not only about solitude, about my missing community, uh, about being prepared for challenging times, but also the, the last thing was that the world was changing more rapidly. What would be an 18-month paradigm shift was now happening in 90 days. Things were shifting very quickly. And in order to not give in to anxiety or depression or despondency, I had to, to be in the Word, in the presence of the Lord. I enjoyed my solitude missed community, missed the people. I was prepared, but I also realized, wow, everything is changing, and I cannot get off center. I have to fight anxiety, depression, or fear. Uh, things are changing faster than they have in the past. Those are my big lessons. 